strings strings in java string is probably the most commonly used class in java class library the obvious reason for this is that strings are very important part of programming so two things you have to keep in mind first the first thing to understand about string is that every string you create is actually an object of type string for example even string constant are actually string objects for example if we take a, a statement system dot out print ln this is a string 2 so the string this is a string 2 is a string object and the second point is the second thing is to understand about the string is that object of type string are immutable once string object is created it contents cannot be altered while this may seem like a serious restriction it has two reasons if you need to change a string you can always create a new one that contains the modification and java defines peer classes of string called string buffer string builder which allow string to be altered so all of the normal string manipulation are still available in java so we will more uh, read more about in our coming chapter string can be constructed in variety of way the easiest way is to use a string like this string my string this is a equals to this is a test once you have uh, created a string object you can use it anywhere that string is allowed for example this statement displays my string system dot out print and my string so java defines one operator for strings plus it is used to concatenate two strings for example this statement string my string equals to i plus like plus java so results in my string contains like i like java so the for, so there here is a program uh, for demonstrating the string so preceding concepts are here and here is a package named shiva foundation and public class string demo and this you are familiar with this statement and here is a string object one is first string and string object two is second string string uh, uh, in uh, string object three we are uh, concatenating or adding there then system dot print on string object one here we can print uh, string object one two and here is the concatenation or sum of string so let's see string so here is the output first string second string and first string plus second string you can see the program uh, in program string object 1 2 and 3 in 1 is first string second string and third is the addition of this so let's go to the output game and see as the output let's go to the another example of string string class contains several methods that you can use here a few you can test two strings for equally by using equals you can obtain the length of string by calling the length method you can update the character or specified index within a string by calling char at so the general forms of these three methods are shown here boolean equals second string and int length and char carry index so here is a program to demonstrate these strings so i have taken the name of class is string demo 2 and here is a string 1 2 and in string 3 here is a string object 1 so in this program we are demonstrating the string methods so there is a length of string object 1 and string object length 1 char at index 3 in object 1 and if 
string equals to object one, then print string object equals to string two. Else print this. If string equals to this, then print this. Else this. So let's see the output. Oh, this is the first program. Let's demo our second string demo two. So here is the output. The length of string object is twelve, and caret index three string object is s. And string object one. So this our program. So caret index three. So our output is as you want. So let's go to another program, off string, and is this program is string demo three. To save your time, I already made a program. So this program is using command line algorithm argument. So here display all command line argument. So this program is here. When we run this program here, so it will show no output, but program will show showing a successful because this is for command line. Oh, it's program number two. We are going to program number three, demo three. The program is successful, but showing no output because it's a command line argument program. So you can. run this program on command line my the see the playlist video second or third you can see how to run a program in command line you can uh, copy this program and print and or write the program in notepad and you can run with command line cmd command so my all programs are on github you can go there and download from so all this in our next uh, next video i am covering the topic inheritance it's very important so let me show you the, 